a symbol of Philippine independence is finally home. These antiquated bells were taken as war trophies by American soldiers from the small town of Balangiga in eastern Samar during the Philippine-American War. People here say the bells evoke so much emotion because these feel like missing chess pieces in the country's violent struggle for freedom from its colonizers. The Balangiga massacre is the single biggest defeat for the American military during the Philippine-American War. But for the Philippines, it is a reminder that over half a century ago, a handful of Filipino guerrillas armed with machetes fought and won against a superpower. A reminder too for the current generation that Filipinos will do whatever it takes to earn their freedom. Historians say thousands of people in Balangiga were killed, including women and children. Nemesho Duran's great-grandfather was one of the last bell ringers of the Balangiga Church during the war. He says his family never thought this day would come. I feel like I am in the clouds. These bells represent our fight for independence. You can see the people are so happy. They are finally home. For decades, Philippine presidents and independent groups have lobbied hard for their return. Nobody but nobody can claim a singular credit for the generous act of the Americans. The bells are returned, the credit goes to the American people and to the Filipino people. This year, the U.S. Secretary of Defense, with authority delegated by our president, was able to send these religious artifacts home as a gesture of respect for our close friend and ally with whom we have shared so many sacrifices. But for the faithful of Balangiga, the bells are simply beyond politics. It is a homecoming that's taken 117 years. They say the bell's return is proof that all wars do end, no matter how brutal. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Balangiga in Eastern Samar, Central Philippines.